And thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. I'm your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. Well, y'all, I'm excited. This is a pop-up prophetic word. I was not planning this word, but some things have been happening lately, and I knew that I was going to have to push through and do it. I didn't plan on coming back until tomorrow with pep talk prayers. Of course, tomorrow will be the last day of week one. And, um, you know, I do them every other day. And guys, please check out the Pep Talk Prayers playlist. And it'll have all of the episodes that have already gone forth. And again, after tomorrow, we will have six more episodes left. It's over the course of the next three weeks. And they come on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 1 p.m. And usually on Tuesday and Thursday, I, I do some shorts. And every day, I post on the community page, right? Oh, and also make sure you like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. Now, y'all, let's get popping with this prophetic word. So I have been noticing over the last maybe two to three weeks that there's been a lot of interesting um, connections and like just kind of spiritual things that I personally have been feeling. Some Some things like, you know, somebody's name will pop up when I'm thinking about them or you know, me and somebody else will say the same exact thing. It's, it's been happening more frequently. That happens to me quite a bit. And it probably could just be because I'm just more tapped in spiritually to the Holy Spirit and to God. And I spend more time in that space. But I also realized that there were just many people having that experience. So this morning I was talking to one of my good friends and the Lord was like, yo, you need to speak to my people on this. And I'm like, wow. So I got quiet for a minute. I prayed and I asked the Holy Spirit to just speak to me and let me know if he wanted me to come forth with the prophetic word. And he did. So I'm so excited about that. And I'm going to explain it to you. So if you see the topic, I'm not going to lie. I struggled between already ready and ready already. It was weird. I didn't kind of know how to word it, but we landed on already ready. So this is what this is for. There are a lot of you who have been feeling the way I've been feeling. For, for whatever reason, maybe you have not engaged when you felt a spiritual connection or something that said, man, I said that I was going to cook, you know, I was going to make eggs today with red peppers. And then literally two seconds later, something pop up on the screen with eggs and red peppers. Like that type of thing has been very, very heavy. And so usually when that's going on, that's something going on in the atmosphere. There's something going on. The creator of the universe is doing something within the universe that he created for us to catch on to. So the energy has to go to the creator, not the creation. That's a word for somebody. Somebody has to make a shift before I can even get to this next part of the word. You got to stop focusing on the creation, but focus on the creator. So let me give you an example. If you're mad at that person, you out of order. It's not that you're wrong for it's not that you're wrong for feeling angry or upset for whatever they did to you, but in order for you to get to this next space, you got to take your energy off of the creation which is that person and focus on who created that person. And you bring them to management. <laughs> you feel me? You bring that person to management. That's what you do when, when you're dealing with God. You're like, "Hey, your son and your daughter they don't worked on my nerves. Hold on." I'm going to manage it. Let me see your manager. That's how we got to start work. We have to start moving in these spaces. We have to start looking at it like God is trying to give us an out by not succumbing to, you know, getting mad at the customer service agent when you should really just go above them and go to their manager and get it solved. That is what's happening right now. So start focusing on the creator and not the creation. Okay. The creator is, is that's who has the manual. That's who has the manual. I think I actually talk about this more in depth on one of the pep talk prayers series. I can't quite remember. I've been doing a lot of recording lately, but I want you guys to hear me out on this. This next part is going to be pivotal. So I know that God is going to move for a lot of you, but it's because you're already ready. Now, it is important that you understand that you have to be already ready. 
So I'm telling you right now, I'm not going to give you a fake prophetic word to give you feels. I'm y'all. Well, y'all, if you, well, I can't say that because everybody, some, for somebody, this might be a first time ever hearing anything I said, but let me just tell you, that is one thing I will not do. I am not going to just be giving you something to make you feel great. And all the Lord said, I am very concerned about my soul and not making up stuff. I do not play those games. Ain't nobody finna be lying over here. So I would, I could say a bunch of things, but I can't say those things if they're not true. And the truth of the matter is this, there's some of you who believe that it is your time and it is your season for certain things, but it is actually not because you're not quite ready yet. And you might not want to hear that, but this word is for those who are already ready, period. You're like, Robin, what does that mean? Let me tell you what that means. That means that when God presents this situation to you, you will not fumble the ball, the bag, or anything that he is putting in front of you when he says it's go time. And some of you will not know this until it is presented to you. And that is just the facts. Some of you just will not know it until then. But it is imperative and it is, it is deeply important that you understand that if you do not have certain things in place, you need to be serving and working right now while you are waiting. I have at least five podcasts on serving while you wait. I've been talking about that for years. There's some things that you still should just be doing just because. You just need to be in preparation and getting yourself together while you're in this space of things coming together. But for some of you, and let me, I'm going to be more specific. There's even somebody, might be even be more than one of y'all, who woke up this morning and you were like, something is different. If you, if that was you, I'm asking that question. Hit the comments for me right now. Let me know. Did you wake up and feel like something was different? Not bad, not good, not anything, but just different. And that really matters because usually if you're led to feel a certain way by your emotion and feeling, that can be pivotal in how God moves after that point. So if you're a person who just genuinely felt like something is different, let me tell you, for you in particular, that's confirmation that God is basically telling you that you caught that change in the spirit realm. You caught it. And it's been brewing for a minute. Some, some of us have been catching it for a while now. And, I, and let me tell you, for me, I don't know about some of you, but sometimes there's just certain people in my life. Um, I could try not to talk to them, but... I can't not talk to them for a long period of time. It just starts to bother both of us. I think I'm probably more vocal about it because I'm just, I'm pure in that space. I'm honest in that space. I'm not like embarrassed or ashamed. I'm like, yeah, no, like I don't feel right not talking to you. Like what's going on? It doesn't even matter if there was beef or just everybody busy and we can't talk. But I don't know about you, but they're just some people I feel that I'm connected to and they're just my lifetime people. You know how they say reason, season, lifetime? I just think sometimes people are lifetime people and oftentimes we deal with people and we try to put them in a season. We try to put them for a reason. When God is like, the reason why it keeps turning out like this is because this is a lifer. You don't want to let them be a lifer. I'm talking to somebody right there. You don't want them to be a lifer. But God is making them a lifer. And I'll tell you something else too. Let me tell you, some of the people y'all done put in a life position, they're not your life people. God don't want you riding out life with them people. Ooh, I didn't even know that was coming out. He don't want you riding out with them people. Some of y'all got friendships and, 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 and people y'all cool with. You just trying to go the distance with. And you keep wondering why your stuff not coming to you. Oh, Okay. You keep, run, you keep wondering why everything haywire and everything running amok because you keep trying to connect to people for the long term when the Lord said it was short term. And in some terms, he said no terms. He didn't even want you to be bothered. You let your flesh pick that situation. Because let me tell you something that God can do. God can take something that you might have you might have got into the wrong way with your flesh and he could take that thing and he can make all things work together for his good. So I'm not going to be out here saying that he cursing everything and this ain't what he want. But I will say this, God will reset things and set order. Okay. But when God has a divine plan, he has a plan. So what I want you to take away from this is simply this. Those of you who are ready, when these doors swing open in these coming weeks, and I have to say it's heavy for February. 
It's heavy, heavy for February. It is heavy, heavy, heavy for February. I don't, I don't typically do a word of the month. I don't, I mean, every now and again, I'll do it if I'm led to. So I'm not even going to call this a word for the month. I'm not, but a lot of this, like, check this out. Some of you are going to start having these experiences immediately. In fact, some of you gonna be, are going to be hearing this recording. And when you hear it, you're going to get text messages and things will be happening in real time to affirm this word for you. That's how thick it is. And I'm going to tell you something else. There's some of you, you are about to experience love in a way you have never experienced love before. And I'm not even talking about just like a romantic love, but like an agape love. I mean, that type of love that's like... It just covers all that real love, that real love. I ain't talking about no Valentine's Day love. I'm talking about, you know what? This is the kind of love that at the end of the day, I really got you. And I don't, I don't got you because you did all these things for me and I've been knowing you forever. It's like, no, like I, I got you. Like I, I, I have it. Some of you have never experienced that. And that was affirmed again with a situation that I personally know of as well recently that that is happening right now for many people and is not coming in the form in which you thought it would come. Okay. So remember, God is going to be showing you some season, reason, lifetime situations, and you're going to be mixed. You're going to be moving some people around because some of y'all in, in chaos, some of y'all nothing happening. Is because for one of those two reasons, you got people in the wrong space. And some of y'all like, Lord, nothing is happening. Nothing good happening, nothing bad happening. But let me tell you, he didn't put a spiritual stop to that mug until you get people in the place they're supposed to be in. Some of y'all are going to have to look at some of these situations because here's another thing too. And this is a word of conviction for somebody. It's not condemnation, but conviction. Some of y'all been playing checkers with people and you can't do that. God wants you to be strate uh, strategic and thoughtful as you would when you play chess. He does not want you just hopping around and moving. God is not pleased with that. And I can tell you something. God going to dry up everything you think you're doing. You can pray and slap his name on it. You know, put it on your wrist, write it on your wall. If you ain't really living it, you're going to still be in a bad place. Because God is not going to allow that to go through. I'm telling you. God is not with the finessing. He's not with the foolishness. He is changing things because some of y'all are in situations with people that have been manipulative and doing crazy stuff. And you don't even realize you already ready because you looking at what they got going on and you keep thinking you inadequate and you are not inadequate. You are not looking at your situation the way you should. You actually are the one that's ready. But you're so busy over here and you're so busy over there that you're not paying attention that when that thing come around to you, you can't miss it. You are already ready. You are already ready. Okay? So, yeah, that was not something I planned to say to y'all today, but I'm popping in. I hope y'all catching me live and in color with it. I really, really hope it blessed you because I did not plan it. And I know that God is faithful, y'all. Oh, Lord, not only is he faithful, but he is able. And listen, we all going through something, you know, but I think sometimes just a, just a little food for thought, just a little something to think about. Sometimes when a person is expressing what they're going through and they're telling you from their heart how you feel, it may not be a wise response to say, oh, everybody going through something because that might not be what they need to hear. I don't know why I needed to say that. But sometimes, even if you think what they're saying is preposterous and your stuff is way worse or you've seen other people in worse situations, everybody does not have the same capacity and propensity to handle things. We see suicide and all kinds of stuff every day. We have to take care and we have to be more thoughtful about people. I'm working on it myself. Now, I'm not... Let me be clear. There are some people God does not want you to communicate with anymore and you have to detach yourself. That's not you being villainized. But there are other situations where you just know that things need to be shifted and there need to be some changes made because we have to just keep in mind that right now we're in a time where people are just taking things a lot heavier than normal. And if you have a little more strength in them at, at that time and you have the ability to share it or to maybe hold them up or just to hear them out, don't fret. Go ahead and just do that. God will be very pleased with you for that. And it's important right now in this hour. And lastly, if you are somebody that God confirms to you is already ready, do not forget to keep a mind and a heart of service. Make sure you are still giving. He might be telling you, hey, give of your time. 
you got a package that you offer, give that person your package free. Oh, bless them with money. Hey, send them that playlist. Hey, send them that book. Hey, you know, uh, spend a little time with them, take them to lunch, send them a gift card, whatever it is. Remember, there's some give. You still have to stay in a state of giving and you still have to stay in a state of service. OK, I don't know how God is going to tell you to do the service, but you have to keep that in mind because that is not going to go away. All of that's connected. All of those things are connected. And you want to make sure that although you're already ready, when it shows up, you don't want to just be somebody that's ready. You want God to be able to say, wow, like, look at my child. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You want God to be able to say, wow, like this is this, this, this child is really doing what I've called them to do and they're not making no bones about it. Like they're just going to do it and they're going to do it well. So let God look at you from a place of excellence because that's important right now in this season. So quick recap, make sure you check out my, um, my website on wired to inspire.com and y'all tomorrow's episode is called Eagles. Y'all know, if you don't know about an Eagle, you might want to pop in. The cool thing about the pep talk prayers, y'all, they're all under 10 minutes. They're literally pep talks really quick. And it's all referenced from my book. If you don't have the book, there'll be a link in the description for that as well. So you can get a copy. And also remember, God is paying attention to season, reasons, and lifetimes. He's showing you about those who are already ready. And he wants you to make sure that you continue to have compassion. And lastly, he wants you to continue to be givers. And he wants you to continue, excuse me, to do service. So I hope this word bless you guys today. I genuinely appreciate you for all that you have done for me. Thank you for getting the journals. Y'all, I'm about to redrop the All It Takes Is One Move From God t-shirts and merch today. So look out for that. But y'all, like I told y'all, I'm just trying to create free material, as much videos and just tools for you guys so that you could literally turn what you're thinking about into something either monetizable or something where you can serve and help other people. That is my focal point on this channel. I want you all to live your authentic purpose. I want to take the tools and knowledge that I have to give to you so that you can begin to develop your own. I'm wired to inspire. I hope you are too.